Hi, my name is Ken Bosenkuhl, and I recently published a long 20,000 word piece with IRPP uh, on Stephen Harper and his legacy. And uh, I did it with a co author, Sean Spear. Uh, I was the guy who did a lot of the policy in the early days of the Harper regime, and Sean uh, wrote the last two election platforms. So between the two of us, we sort of covered the waterfront for the years that uh, the Prime Minister was in office. Uh, what we did in the essay is basically two things. Started uh, the first half of the essay describes the development of what we call Harper's political ideology, uh, which we call ordered liberty. Um, in the U.S., it's called a fusionist policy, but it's basically taking uh, what we commonly understand as social conservatism and melding it with economic conservatism and bringing those two uh, groups of people together and bringing those two policy ideas together in. Uh, a philosophy of government and a political ideology uh, in order to build a coalition. And so we construct this, uh, what we call ordered liberty, we tie it back to Sir John A. Macdonald who also had a liberal conservative party where he melded conservative ideas with with uh, sort of classical libertarian, classical um, classical liberalism and um, and that Harper developed that and that's why the party, even though he lost the election, the party remains strong. It has a, almost a third of the vote in Canada and has a very strong policy legacy. The second half of the essay then takes a number of subject areas from federalism to taxes to the recession and the response to the recession and then and shows how Harper applied his uh, political ideology in each of those situations and how he governed the country and changed the country for the better in areas such as social policy. For example, we've moved to direct payments to families so that they can decide how to best provide child care for their children. And even in the last election, uh, the Liberals uh, largely just amended what Harper brought forward as opposed to a wholesale change. So that's a, a very lasting legacy. Uh, on federalism, Harper had largely had a, an approach of, of leaving the provinces to their own affairs, uh, letting them run the programs that they should be running, and then Ottawa should run the programs it should run. And in our view, that was a much superior way of running the country than having uh, bickering first minister's conferences where everyone, all the pre come and beg for money and the taxpayers end up worse off. So anyway, that's uh, Ken Bosenkuhl and Sean Spear. The essay is called Ordered Liberty. It's on the Institute for Research and Public Policy website. And uh, it's our first uh, attempt at uh, setting out uh, a, a legacy almost, a legacy piece uh, for the time that Prime Minister Harper was in office.